Hi, I'm Beth with the University of Florida, Scamby County Extension, and it is going to be a wonderful spot to be in midsummer underneath the canopy of these beautiful crepe myrtle trees. Here at the Extension office, we have several selections that get quite large, and we've really enhanced them with just a little bit of selective pruning. Now for a lot of people, they treat crepe myrtles as something that they need to really hard prune or top every single year, and it really changes the overall form of that tree, and they miss out on this wonderful shade provided by this tree as we move into summer and fall. Now the selection behind me is one of the largest ones that's really widely available called Natchez. It has white flowers in this beautiful umbrella shape, and then the added benefit is this a kind of cinnamony bark that peels that's so attractive all year long. If you weren't looking for something that gets that round, another one of my favorites is Fantasy. And it's very upright pyramidal and will be a gorgeous tree with beautiful bark and white flowers as well. Now the added benefit of crepe myrtle, even though it's not a native, it is host to so many beneficial insects. So when that's in flower, uh, all through the, the summer months, you're gonna be attracting those beneficial insects to the garden to help kind of feed on some of the insects you may not want on some of your other plants. So it is an all around great tree, very hurricane resistant, plus that beautiful bark and flower. But remember, if you wanna know how to prune it correctly, just selectively, the University of Florida has a great publication on pruning crepe myrtles, and also you can always get help from your local county extension office. So come out during the summer here at Escamia County Extension and enjoy this wonderful shade of our crepe myrtle canopy.